Force River is a leader in the RV industry by wanting to solve problems that customers have with towing down the roads that are truly bad in some of the states. By Force River looking to use high-performance suspension systems, they are becoming the best buy on the market. Many more of these trailers will be coming to the market using systems that were developed by the trucking industries, which have million miles of testing on them down the highways of America. Ask for Force River with the Liberty A Rider, the Joy Rider, and the Bullseye Alignment System. High-performance springs come in different weight ratings. Shown here are the 8K springs on this trailer. Springs come with plastic bushings and we will replace them with high performance bushings that will last the life of the system and never need grease. Shown are two hangers that are used by the frame manufacturers. One is a three inch hanger and the other one is a five inch hanger. If installed as an aftermarket, then you can use the Correct Track 2, which is an alignment system, but will raise your trailer two inches. The slot where the bolt goes through the hanger is slotted, so you turn the cam on the bolt and the spring can move up to a half an inch forward or a half an inch backward in eighth inch increments to align your axles to the kingpin or coupler. This is the kit for the Liberty Rider. One kit fits all size axles. The kit shows the high performance rolling bearings that allow the springs to work without friction. This shows the mounting holes for the three inch hangers and where the bushings will mount. This shows where the five inch hanger and mounting of roller bearings will go. These are the mounting holes for the shock bolts. There are four different holes for the shocks to be mounted depending on your spring and your frame. These holes are for spring retainers which will not allow the springs to come out of the trailer if taken off the ground. This shows mounting the roller bearings in the five inch hanger location. This shows mounting the roller bearings in the three inch hanger location. This shows how the spring retaining bolts work to hold the spring from dropping out when the trailer is raised off the ground. This shows supporting the trailer with an approved jack system and using jack stands to support the trailer while off the ground. You can then remove the tires and we recommend doing one side at a time. Axles must be supported with jack stands. This shows removing the U-bolts and keeping to reinstall later. Remove all springs and equalizers and discard. This shows the bullseye system installed by the factory and if your trailer does not come with this bracket, Correct Track 2 can be installed. Alignment is needed on all trailers because the weight of the trailer from side to side can be up to 2,000 pounds, depending on how you load your trailer and how many slides you have on each side. This shows the installation of the Liberty Rider on the frame. The center hanger bolt must be installed to center the bracket. This system can be bolted on or welded on. Make sure the trailer is unplugged from any power or battery when welding the system on. If bolting, then the Liberty Rider will be put up over the hangers and bolts marked and then removed and pilot holes drilled to 1130 seconds. Make sure a drill stop is used the bolts are thread cutting and should be tightened to keep bracket from twisting. This shows spring and bullseye cam being installed. Tighten bullseye bolt until there is a small gap between spring and hanger so spring can move without rubbing on hanger. Spring retainer bolt is now installed to hold spring. Tighten all bolts but do not over tighten. Bolts only need to be snugged up to the brackets. Over tightening will cause a spring to rub against a Liberty Rider bracket. When installing new tie plates, use old U-bolts. OEM tie plates are different than the aftermarket. OEM versions have two mounting arms that come down, so when mounting axles at the factory, they do not need to have two different axles. When torquing U-bolts, follow OEM specs on what the nuts need to be torqued to as so not to bend the axles or damage the axles. These axles were torqued to 75 foot-pounds. Repeat the same on rear axle. Shocks are now installed on the Liberty Rider and then installed on the Joy Rider shock brackets. 
All bolts should be tightened. After shocks are installed, install tires and torque all lug nuts. Then proceed to the other side and retrace your steps. We needed to check the alignment on this, so we hooked up to a forklift to move the trailer back and then pull forward so as to set the axles in the towing mode. Trailer needs to have all gear in the trailer as to be towed down the road. Customers need to take home, load the trailer before checking alignment. Trailer can be taken to a shop to have alignment or customer can do with a plumb bob. Customer can go to our website www.rvimprovementsystems.com for information on how to align your axles. We checked the alignment and found the trailer to be out 7 16 of an inch on the driver's side. Trailer was then raised on the driver's side and the bullseye cams were turned so as the axles were aligned to the kingpin. We then adjusted rear axle by adjusting the cams to bring in line with the front axle. All bullseye cams were tightened, leaving a small gap between the spring and the hanger. Trailer was put back on the ground and ready to travel. You may ask, why can't this be aligned at the factory? It can be, but when customers get his trailer and loads, then the axles need to be realigned. This would cause double work. Some customers would think that the axles were aligned at the factory and not checked after loading the trailer. This would be a big mistake and would cause tire wear and chucking. Here are the advantages for having the Liberty Rider, Joy Rider, and Bullseye alignment system. No high performance pin box or hitches needed. The high performance pin boxes were developed to help with the chucking from the trailer to the truck. Alignment is what causes the chucking and the trailer bouncing without shocks. The Bullseye, Liberty Rider, and the Joy Rider together solve these problems. When installing these three products and loading your trailer and getting it aligned, you now have increased your warranty on your suspension to three years, so make sure you keep your receipts.